guys, welcome to another DIY Wednesday and today I'm so excited to share with you guys a really simple and easy way to make a circle skirt. Now there's plenty of DIY tutorials out there and I have made quite a few tutorials on circle skirts myself but the two that I have showed you guys involve zippers and zippers are kind of not your best friend. Aside from the pattern and cutting out the fabric, there's only going to be three steps in making the circle skirt. That's what I'm here for, to provide you with awesome DIYs in the most easiest way possible. Just like my last DIY, at the end of this video, I will be giving away two circle skirts made by yours truly, so just wait till the end of the video or just kind of skip it, you cheater, you. So we're going to go ahead and hop to it. Okay, to start off, we need to make a pattern and it will involve just a smidge of math. I promise you guys it won't scare you away, or at least I hope not. So we're going to go ahead and draw two lines at the corner of the paper with a perfect 90 degree angle. Next, you'll measure around your hips and figure out which size you are on this chart. Now here is the second magical chart that you'll need and this will be your radius number. So using a measuring tape, I'm going to puncture a hole on the zero mark and then I'm going to puncture a hole on my radius number. So now I'm going to leave my point at the zero mark and then I'm going to place a pencil on the radius mark and it will look something like this. And what I'm going to do is on the corner of my paper, I'm going to place the zero mark on that corner and then I will swing my pencil back and forth to create an arc. Next, decide how long you want your skirt to be and starting from your radius mark, you're going to move down the tape measure until you hit that length. My skirt is around 15 inches long so it's going to read approximately 19 and a half inches on my tape. Puncture a hole at that mark and place your pencil there. You're going to place the zero back onto the corner and you're going to swing again for the second arc. Next, you're going to cut it out and this will be your pattern. Now make sure you keep this pattern because you're going to use it quite often. Time for fabric. With this pattern, you can use any lightweight fabric and it should work out just fine. So with my fabric, I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half again and then I'm going to fold it in half a second time. So it's like hot dog wise and then hamburger wise. Have you guys heard that before? Now be sure that on one side there are two folds and then on the raw edge it has four pieces of fabric. That's how you know that you have folded correctly. Now I'm placing my pattern onto my fabric and where the straight sides are, I make sure that they are aligned with the folds of the fabric. Next I went ahead and cut out the extra fabrics. On the very outer circle, you're going to go ahead and sew a small hem all the way around the whole thing. And then I just press the hem out with my iron. Now I'm going to measure a piece of elastic around my waist. I overlap the ends together and I sew a box with an X in the middle to fully secure the elastic. On the inner circle, with the wrong side facing you, you're going to make 4 marks around the circle equidistant from each other. I also make 4 marks on my elastic that is also equidistant from each other. Now I match up the marks on my elastic to the skirt and I just zigzag stitch the elastic to the raw edge of the inner circle and you can check out this video here where I did a really detailed demo on how to do this. Lastly, I fold the elastic down and I sew as closely to the raw edge as I can on the elastic and I make sure that I stretch as I sew. And now you are done with your circle skirt. So I ended up making another one in a satin fabric and it took me about 30 to 40 minutes since I already have a pattern created. And uh, here are two outfit ideas for each skirt.
hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and hopefully you can make a couple circle skirts on your own. But just like I promised, I will be giving away two circle skirts made by me. And all you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber to my channel. I did this a couple of years ago, but I thought I should bring it back. But down below, I want you to say what is your biggest insecurity. And then I also want you to compliment someone else who has an insecurity. And then in a couple days, if you like, just come back and read through the comments and you'll find that we all have insecurities and we all want something that we don't have. It's kind of like my way of saying, hey, we're all crazy in our own minds and let's just all be beautiful and be confident. On that note, Daisy from YourPerfectBeauty.com is still hosting the giveaway for the two gift cards to Sephora. So again, you can go over to YourPerfectBeauty.com, check out my interview, um, sign up to the site, write a review on a couple of products, and then you're going to be put into this drawing where you can win a $50 gift card to Sephora and she will announce that winner in a couple weeks here. Um, info for the skirt giveaway and for your perfect beauty giveaway is down below. Um, one last announcement that I just want to shout out there. Um, next week I will be in LA for BeautyCon. I'm super excited. I usually never announce when I go to these events and sometimes you guys are like, oh my gosh, you were there, I didn't know. And then uh, when you guys see me, you guys go crazy and then I go crazy and then we hug and that's that's really awkward for everyone else that is around us. I have the links down below where you guys can just register to go to the event and uh, I really hope to see you guys there. One last thing you guys, remember to always rock on DIYers. Bye! Hi guys, welcome to Beauty Sunday and today we are going to be playing with lemons. As you guys may know, I suffer from acne and the scars are the worst part about it. But some of you are wondering how I deal with the scars and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite scar healing scrubs. So first, let's start with the main ingredient, yummy citrusy lemons. There's a couple of components in lemons that make it the best and natural remedy for acne scars. First off, lemons contain a bunch of vitamins.